Oh, this digging's killing me back. I call work naval bastards. Can't come this way, love. Uh, go round. Nice so uh, thick, you could build a flat on it. She ever work? Where's her flat? Too good for company? She don't get clothes. Hates being touched. Who likes it then? Never slap. Following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Her to say, all died on my account, I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she kinda remember her name? What I heard. Thank <laughs> you. 